And welcome back. And it's all about the matriculants today. And this morning, matrix who wrote the Independent Examinations Board, or IEB exams, received their results. The 2019 IEB class rate stands at, uh, pass rate, I should say, stands at 98.82%. And among those who have excelled in the IEB exam are two of the top achievers who join me now in studio. Uh, Joshua Daniel uh, Jenkelo from Crawford College in Santon achieved nine distinctions and we below shy from Pickenwood uh, College in Hartbeespoort achieved eight distinctions. Guys, good morning. Morning. <laughs> How are you feeling today? Okay. I'm feeling amazing. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. I cannot even explain how I'm feeling right now. I'm excited for you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, it, it's a great sense of contentment that comes uh, with the conclusion and the finality of getting the results. Sorry, it was 10. Um, you uh, got 10 distinctions? Yes, yeah, sorry. Okay. Just, Pardon okay. us. No, no, no problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, it's, to get the SMS is such an exhilarating feeling to see it all you know, come to an end and the end that you were aiming for. Oh, wow. I mean, I, I, I'm beaming right now, and it's not even me who got these <laughs> distinctions, but I, I'm imagining there must have been a lot of hard work that went into this or not. Are you just naturally? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of revision and doing a lot of work and extra time. And you know what? At the end of the day, it's all worth it. It's a marathon, and we've come to the end, and it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Hard work. What, what's hard work? How exactly did you prepare for these exams? So I think, um, you know, there's the obvious answers that people always give with the, you know, study hard, of course, make your notes, etc. Uh, I, I think what takes one to the next level um, is the self-discipline and, and the grit and the gumption or the chutzpah, or whatever you want to call it, um, to go through a journey of self-development. Uh, and I know that I, rather than just studying, I put a lot of focus on my lifestyle. I meditated in the mornings and the evenings. I uh, prayed in the mornings and the evenings. I didn't give up extramurals. Uh, because it's so important to embrace your uncertainty and to embrace that journey and that learning process. Because obviously it's going to be difficult. Um, but if you cultivate that culture of grit working through it and you find what helps you get in the zone, uh, that's what I define as hard work. I think there are people much older who can't articulate what you've just said <laughs> about life. You, you strike me as such an old soul. I, I, I think I am, yes. <laughs> um, I, I, I get that often. I mean, I don't know how to elaborate on being an old soul. I mean, there's character traits, I suppose. But uh, I, I'm lucky in terms of... It's a beautiful thing. Thank you so much. I mean, I, I've, I've been privileged to have many oratory opportunities. I was on the National South African debating team uh, last year and this year. Um, I've performed at FIDA and written and directed a play and I've been a keynote speaker and a public speaker. So I've had many opportunities to learn how to, to communicate and I think that's such an essential skill, as, as I'm sure you Listen, know, being we're in studio. Right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Shining through. And, 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 and let's talk about your subjects. So, so, so which are these eight subjects that you got the distinctions in? Um, it is all my subjects except for AP Math. I think that one was about very close to a distinction, but I'm very happy with the result because, you know, AP Math is one of those subjects that I really found that I struggled with, but the result that I got just reflected the amount of work that I put in because I find that when you do do many subjects, as you would probably know, doing 10, um, you have to find balance and you need to prioritize what you find to be something that you struggle with and try to find more time for it. And my subjects kind of contradict one another, not really mesh together well because I'm just very eccentric and I like doing a lot of different things. And many people would ask me, why are you doing all of these subjects? You know, does it make sense? Where are you going? And I did art, did life science, physics, EGD and they kind of don't really mesh oh, together as a whole. I can see what whole. people say, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, I just love knowledge. Just, I feel like knowledge really is just the most powerful tool. And the more you know, the better you equip yourself for life. And I just found that, you know, doing all the subjects is just an opportunity to broaden my horizon. And my mom always says that, it's the greatest way to just go about life and growing as a person, as you say, how you meditate. And I just find that 
finding knowledge is just the way that I grow myself. And, you know, just also exploring different things outside, like doing sports, doing dancing, and art. I love that side. because, you know, it, it is evident that you know who you are. And, 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 and you are doing you right now, uh, which many adults uh, struggle with. And, and, and I, I listen to the two of you. I look at the two of you. And I know I was nothing like you at your age. Like, and and, and I'm, I'm wondering how many of our viewers watching you right now are kind of having that same moment. So what do you think it is that that gives you guys this confidence that you have, you know, in, in, in not just being who you are, but being able to go out and chase your dreams and, and not really care about what the rest of the world has to say. I think, I think it comes from um, accepting and loving imperfection. Uh, for very long, you know, I used to be that typical overachiever and I was very intense about getting the perfect marks for everything and um, I'd sacrifice a lot merely for the purpose of one paper. Uh, and, you know, it, it was a long journey for me to realize that it's so important to know myself and to grow myself and to learn about myself um, rather than fearing failure to dream of the success that comes from it and to learn from each failure in the process. Um, so I think embracing, it's, it's strange, uh, because especially when we push on the media and everything, how you should aim for your ten distinctions and your perfection, I think embracing... Um, your flaws and embracing the uncertainty of the moment is essential because those failures are there to help us grow and that ethos is fundamentally important. Did you aim for the 10 distinctions? Uh, n yes and no. <laughs> uh, obviously I wanted them um, but you know I, I think a lot of people think people take a lot of subjects um, to impress uh, and, and it was more just a fact of I liked each subject I, as you said you know um, you like each subject, you take each subject. It was never a matter of who's taking what, how do I shine the best. Uh, if, you, if you're going to take a rigorous course, so be it, if that's what you think is going to be your best matric journey. Uh, and, th and that's why, yeah. And then, you know, both of you spoke about balance. And, and all of us only have 24 hours, the same 24 <laughs> hours in every day. So when you talk about balance, how do you manage to balance, you know, the time that you needed to study and practice, as you pointed out, with, as you said, not dropping any of your uh, co-curricular activities and still managing to get out and just be a regular teenager? I think balance is one of the most important things that I had to focus on because I usually, I used to overexert myself. And this year that I learned that, prioritizing is extremely important and just knowing what you need to do and what's best for you and what you can let go of and what you can continue because what I found is that I did drop back in the things that I did on the side but the fact of the matter is that life is still long you can still come back and pick it up along the way you know you have this long journey ahead of you there's no rush and you go at your own pace and I think that's what I found to be my balance is just knowing what I need to do for me now and what's best for me now. And I think a lot of people help me along the way. And how you say just finding imperfection and how that helps you, for me it was support by people and just accepting the perf imperfections. And for me it was the people, the people just that support you. It's they push you onwards. You two are giving me life right now. So <laughs> where to next for the both of you? Uh, where are you going? What are you going to be studying? Starting with you. Uh, I've you applied doing? to a number of foreign universities in the UK and the US, as well as South African ones. Uh, I haven't heard back from some of the foreign ones, so I haven't made my decision just as yet as to where I'll be studying. Uh, but I know that I will be studying economics and politics. Mm. And I've... I'm going to Cape Town, um, either UCT or Stellenbosch, and I'm studying medicine with the ambition to do neurosurgery. Well, well, well. There you have it. I, I promise you, I, I'm just so in awe of these two young people, Joshua and Buipilo. Thanks so much for coming through. And the IEB results released this morning. And at midnight, uh, the National Senior uh, Certificate Examination results will be released. So as you can imagine, today, tomorrow, it's all about the matriculants.